Um, hi, it's Mary Eng here, and it's a pleasure to see all of you. I, I don't mean to dwell on myself, even though I'm a Leo and I was born on July 25th, which we're known for being narcissistic, but also sometimes positive people. We have good qualities. Um, but I just thought I'd tell you who I, who I am. I was born in Portland, Oregon, in North Portland, um, to a social worker who had been placed in Multnomah County due to his dad's get, uh, dad's dad getting a letter written to get him a fancy job. I wish someone would write me a letter because I want a job too because I want to be able to eat and be prosperous. But um, he worked in Clark County um, helping women write resumes, single mothers. Um, he kind of worked I think he might have gotten social worker burnout. I don't know, but I think he wanted to move on to other things, writing and history, primarily music. But my mom was a nurse. She got her background in nursing from uh, joining the uh, Holy Redeemer Society in Pennsylvania who got her out of the rural Pacific Northwest and got her into a career in nursing. She didn't stay with the sisters, obviously, and she eventually met my dad out here in the Northwest. and. She's a Capricorn and he's a Scorpio. And he also is a crime novelist. His final novel was about a social worker who actually is helping the police um, investigate a string of racist murders in Tennessee of little black children. And it's a heartbreaking kind of twisted novel. My mom's first instinct was this is um, kind of too disturbing, too strange. Maybe he's senile, because he, he did eventually have some very severe dementia. So I got to caregive for him through much of my 20s, or possibly my, my whole life, because I was his office assistant and helping to file for him. But um, he cared very much about police brutality. We witnessed it on the way home from the school bus in East Nashville. And I remember mainly his voice, because in his voice he was a good singer, and he could do, like, he would do this, like, Oh, like this whimpering, operatic, kind of falsetto-y, quivering voice as he pulled me past this police brutality when I'm far too young to be seeing a black man being beaten over with a bully stick. Eventually, the police were beating on me in Tennessee, so I moved to California. And that was due to my mom not liking my hairstyle, my atheism, my vegetarianism, my bisexuality, whatever. And that was all perceived as mentally ill. So I got to experience crisis intervention at 21. And I'd be the first one to admit I have chronic depression and I have post-traumatic stress. And I have about 12 seconds to wrap it all up. But I think you guys are awesome. I think we need a lot of positivity. We need to accept each other for who we are and listen to each other. And I'm not a co-ab disruptor. I live in Astoria mainly, so I won't be here that often. But um, I was really injured on the arrest, um, 629, initiated by a false report by a G4S guy called John Chandler, supposedly, who lied and said I had a corkscrew at City Hall. I've never brought a corkscrew once to City Hall. My thumb's in pain right now. <laughs> but um, I think it's a worthy sacrifice. I felt like a sort of a sacrificial victim to the police procedure. I was not treated properly by Engstrom. It was not a proper arrest, and lying to 911 is a crime. We know that. I yeah. think Charlie Hales needs to resign. Yeah, and that, that'll be enough. You know. Okay, she'll go. Okay.